Last night, American voters saw both the presumptive presidential candidates go head to head in a debate more than five months before the election. It was a meeting of two political figures well known to voters and began the first presidential rematch since 1956. Seven News reporter Colin Roos spoke to a local candidate running for national office and why he feels the conversation could be improved. Colin. Stephen, U.S. Senate candidate and Wheeling Mayor Glenn Elliott tells me he doesn't think it was a great debate to watch. He feels that President Biden was off his game and accused former President Trump of saying falsehoods. But beyond the candidates themselves, he says the debate left out what was most important, conversations about ideas. He pointed to the golf game that they discussed in particular as unhelpful to undecided voters. Elliott believes that partisanship has forced voters to either side, and it's tougher for candidates like him to reach the middle. He wants to see a debate with a new generation of candidates with new ways of thinking. It, it bothers me that that's the best choices that we have to choose from. You know, I wish we did have you know, some younger folks in that conversation, uh, some fresh ideas, because it wasn't really a debate about ideas the way it should be. Um, you know, the initial debates in this country weren't on TV, uh, but they were about ideas, and I think that's uh, 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 certainly what we look for. You know. He says his experiences on the campaign trail have taught him that many people are just looking for the best future regardless of party affiliation. Elliott hopes he and his opponent, Governor Jim Justice, will have a chance to debate on the substance. According to the Associated Press, most of those who watched felt that Trump outperformed Biden. However, they report that favorability ratings for both the candidates have remained mostly unchanged after last night's event. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.